apps. Apps? Yeah, we got apps. We got free apps. Welcome to the Daily Appster. The short time we spend together today is devoted to iOS applications, either for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Not just any applications, but free ones. I'm James, and I sort through all the terrible application muck to find the gems you've been searching for. This is the Daily Appster for May 16th, 2011. I'm going to start off today with an app that I'm very excited about. It's called Leaf Snap. Leaf, like a tree leaf. Snap, and that's one word. And this is being put together by the University of Maryland and the Smithsonian Institution. What this application allows you to do is take a leaf from a tree and snap a picture of it. It will then process this image and upload it and then bring down this database of leaves and different trees. It gives you a whole bunch of information on this of what leaves this could be. I tried this on a bunch of leaves from my backyard before I realized that this is this is trees. It's for trees and I tried it with a bunch of things that aren't trees. So and plus it also says that it currently includes trees in the northeast but it will soon grow to include trees of the entire continent of the United States. So this is something pretty cool if you're interested in uh, finding out what trees you have around you. Check it out if that sounds interesting. Leaf Snap. Next up is a game. It's called Light Linker, and there's also an iPad version called Light Linker HD, and they're both free right now. You start out with this board, and there's lights coming from all sides of it. You're able to add pieces, and the pieces are a lot like, if you remember the game Pipe Dream, you know, where you have the, you gotta complete the pipe and make sure sewage doesn't spill out everywhere. Well, it's the same kind of pieces. But all you're trying to do is place as many of these tiles as you can. You're taking turns against the computer, who's also doing this. Whenever you place a tile that's connected to the side or to one of your other pieces, it'll turn red. And when they connect a tile to the side or one of their pieces, it turns blue. And so you're taking turns going back and forth. You're just trying to place the most tiles, and you're trying to screw them up by, you know, putting a block in front of their line, and it's whoever has the most tiles at the end of the game wins. It's pretty cool. There's also a two-player mode, so you can play against somebody else. Uh, This looks great. It's very cool. Check out Light Linker and Light Linker HD. Next up, Panda Adventure. Panda Adventure. Sort of a retro puzzle arcade game where you are this panda, and in each of the levels, you're trying to get a star to the portal, and then you go through the portal. The art style is really cool. There's a lot of different kinds of puzzle mechanics here. Very fun if you're into arcade puzzle-style games with panda protagonists. Check out Panda Adventure. Next up is another game. It's called Ancient Frog. This is a very simple game where you're moving a frog from one part of the leaf to another to catch a fly. You have these different spots where his feet and hands are able to land, and you're kind of just moving him around trying to get to the right location in a certain amount of moves. It's very relaxing. The music is very nice. It's very simple, clean, looks great. Check out Ancient Frog. Next app is called You Spin 360 Degrees, and that's all one word. This allows you to to capture kind of these 360 images of uh, an object or yourself or something like that. You'll set up your device so that it's pointing in a certain direction. Then you'll press start, and you'll either turn an object or you'll kind of turn in place. It'll take a picture, and then it'll say turn. It'll take a picture, and it'll say turn. It'll take a picture, and then you end up with this kind of 3D image that you're able to spin around. You can upload it to their site and then share it, you know, through email or Facebook or Twitter, all that stuff. I'm not sure what the exact use for this sort of application is. Maybe you want to show off a certain outfit, or maybe there's an object that you want to show off. I'm not sure, but it works, and it's pretty cool. It's you spin 360 And the last app I want to talk to you about today is called Square. It's a universal app, and I actually got this as a recommendation from two people. I got it from a longtime listener, Dana, who actually sent in a huge list of applications for me to talk about, so thank you very much, Dana. That was really cool. And also as a recommendation from my brother, who has tested this on numerous occasions. But what this allows you to do is accept credit card payments on your phone or your iPad or your iPod Touch, and you don't need any kind of contract. You sign up for an account, you'll give them your information, you know, you give them your address, and they'll actually FedEx you this little credit card reader that hooks into, oddly enough, the audio port on your device. I don't know why the audio port, that seems weird, but it just plugs in there, it's this little one inch by one inch reader, 
and it's completely free. How they're going to make their money is by taking a percentage of the payment. That's how all credit card companies work. That's how all credit card processing fees work for anything. But the fees for this are really, really cheap. They're the cheapest I've ever seen. You know, if you just need to get paid back for a friend, if you bought them something and you're getting paid back, you just swipe their card. Thing, or if you're selling stuff on Craigslist, like I am apt to do, I can accept credit card payment now, and it's guaranteed. Uh, if you're having a garage sale, this this would work wonders because you know, you know, nobody ever has the cash. They're like, oh, I only got so much, and be like, well, I also accept credit card and take that. No reason not to get this. I signed up for an account this morning, and they'll be sending my little reader device, and I'll talk about it as soon as I get it. So if you need to accept credit cards for any reason at all, there's no reason not to get this. Square. Check it out. You can follow the show and find links to all the apps I've talked about at thebigskillet.com. If you'd like to email me for any reason, you can do that at thedailyappster at gmail.com, and I'm on Twitter at twitter.com slash thedailyappster. Thanks to iCactus for the opening and closing music. Until next time, enjoy your free apps. Thank you.